Lavoisier and Berdelet, Chimiste Celeb, Liebig's Extract of Meat Company Trading Card, 1929 Claude Louis Berdelet Statue in Ancy, France. Claude Louis Berdelet was a Savoyard French chemist who became vice president of the French Senate in 1804. He is known for his scientific contributions to theory of chemical equilibria via the mechanism of reverse chemical reactions, and for his contribution to modern chemical nomenclature. On a practical basis, Berdelet was the first to demonstrate the bleaching action of chlorine gas, and was first to develop a solution of sodium hypochlorite as a modern bleaching agent. Claude Louis Berdelet was born in Talwars, near Ancy, then part of the Duchy of Savoy, in 1749. He started his studies at Chambéry and then in Turin where he graduated in medicine. Berdelet's great new developments in works regarding chemistry made him, in a short period of time, an active participant of the Academy of Science in 1780. Berdelet, along with Antoine Lavoisier and others, devised a chemical nomenclature, or a system of names, which serves as the basis of the modern system of naming chemical compounds. He also carried out research into dyes and bleaches, being first to introduce the use of chlorine gas as a commercial bleach in 1785. He first produced a modern bleaching liquid in 1789 in his laboratory on the Quijavel in Paris, France, by passing chlorine gas through a solution of sodium carbonate. The resulting liquid, known as eau de Javel, was a weak solution of sodium hypochlorite. Another strong chlorine oxidant and bleach which he investigated and was the first to produce, potassium chlorate, is known as Berdelet's salt. Berdelet first determined the elemental composition of the gas ammonia, in 1785. Berdelet was one of the first chemists to recognize the characteristics of a reverse reaction, and hence, chemical equilibrium. Berdelet was engaged in a long-term battle with another French chemist, Joseph Proust, on the validity of the law of definite proportions. While Proust believed that chemical compounds are composed of a fixed ratio of their constituent elements irrespective of the methods of production, Berdelet believed that this ratio can change according to the ratio of the reactants initially taken. Although Proust proved his theory by accurate measurements, his theory was not immediately accepted partially due to Berdelet's authority. His law was finally accepted when Berzelius confirmed it in 1811, but it was found later that Berdelet was not completely wrong because there exists a class of compounds that do not obey the law of definite proportions. These non-stoichiometric compounds are also named berthalides in his honor. Berdelet was one of several scientists who went with Napoleon to Egypt and was a member of the Physics and Natural History section of the Institut d'Egypte. In April, 1789 Berdelet was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of London. In 1801, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. In 1809, Berdelet was elected an associate member first class of the Royal Institute of the Netherlands, predecessor of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. He was elected an honorary fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh in 1820 and a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1822. Claude Louis Berdelet's 1788 publication entitled Methode de Nomenclature Chimique, published with colleagues Antoine Lavoisier, Louis Bernard Guyton de Morveau, and Antoine Francois, Comte de Fourcroy, was honored by a citation for Chemical Breakthrough Award from the Division of History of Chemistry of the American Chemical Society, presented at the Académie des Sciences in 2015. A French high school located in Ancy is named after him. Berdelet married Marie Marguerite Bauer in 1788. Their son, Amade Barthélemy Berdelet, died in 1811 of carbon monoxide poisoning via charcoal burning suicide in which he had recorded his physiological and psychological experiences as a final scientific contribution before losing consciousness and succumbing to the fumes. Berdelet was accused of being an atheist. He died in Arquail, France in 1822. Thanks for watching.